Unfortunately, the actions in Ferguson um, are tragic. Uh, there's only one person that caused all of this to happen, and it was when Michael Brown decided to rob a store, uh, which caused the officer to respond, which in then the uh, contact occurred. And then it was his actions against the officer where the officer only had seconds, split seconds to make a decision on what to do uh, to save his own life as reported by the DA yesterday in the Ferguson decision. Uh, now all of the tragic violence is occurring. I feel so badly for the store owners who are African American who have worked very hard uh, to establish where they are in their community and now what they've had is lost due to this looting. My belief is that the hooligans that acted out would have acted out no matter what the decision would have been. Uh, they were just looking for the opportunity. There are many, many law-abiding citizens out there uh, of all races who are decrying what's going on right now. I believe there are opportunists out there, people just looking for um, the availability to act out and then try and say they're validated because of a certain decision. Uh, and that's too bad. Our system worked. Everything that the grand jury had to consider is now going to be made public so anybody can take a look at all of the information they had to make that decision. The grand jury consists of citizens. Three of those citizens were African American and they made the decision that there was no indictment against the police officer. No police officer gets up in the morning or starts their shift wanting to shoot somebody. This, it's tragic um, for them to have to handle, for their families to have to handle, not to mention the pe people that they contact. So it's um, very impactful on law enforcement as a family. I've learned that the scope, as large as it is, can quickly and easily overcome the resources that a local agency has. I believe that preparation is important, not only in law enforcement response, but in working with our communities to try and work out disagreements, work out things prior to an incident occurring. And so that's going to be an important thing to do going forward. I am the Region 5 Coordinator for Law Enforcement Mutual Aid, so the Fresno County Sheriff's Office coordinates any request for mutual aid in a seven county area should um, resources be needed outside the scope of a local uh, police organization. We had teams ready, not just from the Sheriff's Office, but from other departments within our region ready to go anywhere should the need arise. Unfortunately, we have to be ready for the worst, uh, and, and we were. I believe that's what the public would expect for us to be ready should violence occur.